I recently tried to pace my 66-year-old dad to a 22-minute 5K. Come on, Steve! At the time of recording, the average UK finish time for a park run is 29 minutes and 14 seconds. Dropping that down to 22 minutes for the 5K distance, therefore, is no small feat. The pace required is 4.24 per kilometre, or 7.04 a mile. A runner must hold a speed of 8.5 miles per hour. My father, Steve, now known to many Jogon subscribers as the Jog Father, has run most of his life, culminating in an impressive selection of personal bests during the early 1990s. Years later, Steve's running ground to a halt in 2015 with significant hip pain. We all assumed his running career was over, but following a total hip replacement in 2016, Steve began rehabilitation to strengthen the muscles. That day in the hospital bed, the hip surgeon told Steve that as long as he was careful and built up slowly, he could gradually run again. In the past few years since the surgery, I've had the honor of pacing Steve. And then just two days before turning 67, wanting to see what kind of form he now had in his late 60s, Steve asked me to pace him once again at a park run. I agreed and a date was set. I'm Harry Morgan and this is Jog On. Hello. Harry here. You find me now at Barclay Green Park Run, a disused power station that's known for being quite a flat tarmac based course. So we're going to put Steve through his paces and see just what kind of time he can run. First of all, you've run this before. How have you found Barclay Green Park Run? It's a quick course, but it's got lots of twists and turns. And you have to go around the car park a couple of times. So there are, I think there are six U turns. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, which does slow you down a little bit, but broadly it's pretty quick. In terms of the actual target of trying to get as close as we can to 22 minutes, maybe even breaking inside of 22 minutes, how confident do you feel in doing that? Uh, not especially, <laughs> <laughs> but I have had four weeks of reasonably consistent training. There's a chance, but uh, not a huge one. Okay. I'd posted on the Jog On social channels that we'd be attending this Gloucestershire-based park run, and soon orange-clad subscribers began to emerge. Because there's a lot of people now, you always have to approach the name quite slowly and be like, Jonathan? Hello, lovely to meet you, Gail. How are you doing? The awesome Dave Locke showed me the van he'd rented for the weekend. It would have been amazing if you got orange. I'd have been like, but yellow's pretty good. I love the jog on bottle stashed right. in the side door. Yes. That's amazing. And with that, we made our way towards the start. Do a bit of a warm up. Grateful for the warmth of a jog-on hoodie on this crisp morning, they soon turned a golden yellow. We were arriving early. We must look so keen. Morning! Here I bumped into Ambassador Jake for the first time since Cardiff Half Marathon. Here we go, I'm with Ambassador Jake! And we began a light warm-up. A dog I'd previously referred to in a video as a cloud with legs ran about greeting people like some sort of jog-on spirit animal. Nearly time to begin, we paused for a photo and I spoke to those gathered. It's always traditional at a jog-on meetup. Everyone cheers the last person in. <laughs> Discovering that the jog father shared a birthday with another subscriber, Ben, they shook hands. We've got a 25th milestone here. <laughs> Greetings were exchanged and Steve continued to warm up for his 5k attempt. How has training gone in general? Yeah, it's been a bit of a disjointed summer really. Um, you're right, the hip has been playing up, but I have had a four week block of training through October and early November, which was based around the Jog On 5k Improver plan. And that's got me back into some sort of shape. But yeah, I think uh, it's going to be a challenge to get under 22 today. I think it's possible, but uh, Quite challenging. The minutes passed and runners were gathering. Anticipation building, Steve and I listened to the introduction and we clapped young George for his 25th park run. Steve, I really look forward to pacing you here at Bark Green Park Run. All the best. Thank you very much. Have a good run. Till the Shaking hands, we lined up to go. Three, two, one, go! We were off. An orange flecked mass of participants flowed down the path. Steve was up to speed almost immediately, and one lady quickly changed her mind. Right behind you, Dad. Come on, Johnny. Right, right. With subscribers Harley and Ben joining us, I moved level with Steve to make sure that he wasn't going too hard too soon. Great stuff. The plan is I'm going to set off at around about 21.45 pace, and we're just going to try and hold that. Hitting our first U-turn, a plethora of jog on tops could be seen coming back towards us. Nice, Rob. Nice, Jade. Nice, Jake. Nice, Adam. I'm Rosie. The crew are out in force. Here we go. We were. Tracking orange cones. Thanks, Marshall. Orange cones represent the new jog on top. Absolutely, Harley. Entering the next car park, we were met with one of the stranger sights I've come across during a park run. Slightly lost for words, we pushed on. Okay, so we're just going to get our first kilometre out of the way, see where we're at. Nice, Dad. Cruising up around there. The first kilometre arrived. That's beautiful. I've got a 420 there, Dad. 421 was the target. It's absolutely freezing, but Steve is moving well. We're just going to try and keep it within ourselves for that first kilometre. Four minutes and 20 seconds. That's excellent. With Steve in full flow up ahead, the deceptively fast Ian Ogden was floating his way across the tarmac. Just approaching 1500 meters, Steve starting to breathe harder, but he's looking smooth at the moment. Our breath formed misty clouds in the piercing morning sunlight, and I thanked a bell ringing Marshall. 
Harley admitted that he was finally getting a bit warm in the hoodie and so proceeded to offload it to run director Kate. Hi, Dave. Away from his yellow van, Dave Locke sported fantastic sunglasses as we passed two kilometres. Wonderful running from Steve. Starting to lock into that pace now. Got Harley just in front, looking smooth, waving to the crowd. Wonderful atmosphere here at Barkley Green Park Run. Tongue out, the cloud with legs completed his first lap and we hit the dreaded double back. Great stuff, Ben. Nice, Harley. Steve appeared to be holding this pace. Nice, Colin. Nice, Rob. I opened up to catch them. Great work. Boom. And tucked in alongside the jog father to maintain his rhythm. Oh, yeah. Father and son duo chasing that 22-minute time here at Barkley Green Park Run. Jog on crew Ben and Harley in front. Cuddly toy car man was now playing guitar. <laughs> well, Rosie. Steve's forehead now glistened with sweat. Well done, well done, Johnny. Great stuff, Johnny. Well done, guys. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All those miles of training. How many miles have you been doing a week? So I've been doing 25 miles a week. Peeling back out the car park, the grimace was forming, and we tried to use the slight decline to relax down. Thank you, Marshall. What well up? Great stuff from Steve as he tracks Ben and Harley up in front, bouncing along. With Steve's breathing becoming more laboured, I decided to tuck back in front. GPS struggling, of course, a little bit between the buildings, but general consensus is we are still on for a decent time. We're just running inside that 22 minute pace. And the goal now is to try to cling on as we just pass 3K for these next 2,000 meters. No doubt the last two kilometers are gonna be a push to bring him in that goal time. The ever faster George Sawyer was moving towards a 5K personal best and we had but one simple task. Just gotta cling on in there now, maintain that pace and bounce along. The newly named Dream Team hit yet another of Steve's forewarned U-turns. Wonderful stuff, wonderful stuff. Back up to speed, powering along now. Do you think you'll continue to focus on the 5K for a while? Do you have some ambitions to go back up to 10K next year? Yeah, I think 5K and 10K are the limit of my aspirations at the moment because uh, I do tend to get injured if I train too much. That's lap two out of three completed. One lap to go Amazing. and power through that finish line. Thanks, Kate. Crew member Rosie was followed by Ambassador Adam who cheered on Ambassador Jake, chasing his own PB while generously trying to spur others on. Six foot eight Jonathan Bradbury, whom I'd run with months before, was powering forward. I glanced back at a tired Steve. Nice, George. This was Steve's very last lap. That's it, Dad. Go, 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 go. Keep it up, keep it up. All the way in. Let's go. Oh, right, Gail. Well done, Sino. The jog father was chasing me down. Cheers, Roscoe. 66 year old legs glided along. We saw Cuddly Toy Car one final time and enjoyed the moment. Feeling good, Harley? Oh, yeah. Jog on style. Jog on style. 800 meters according to my watch. Fantastic running. Great stuff, Emma. Cheers, Marshall. Come on, Steve, all the way. Let's go, Dad, come on. All the way. Encouraging him to stick with this pace, it was time for some jog on high fives. Let's go, guys. Well done. Keep pushing. Nice, Jake. Come on, Steve. You Great stuff. Come on, Steve. Last bit. Nice, Rosie. <laughs> Boom. Come on. Drive it through. Go for it. Go, go, go. Cheers, Adam. Bye, yeah. Natalie. Let's go, let's go. Here he comes, Steve Morgan, 66 years of age, powering through. What a run. Other runners clapped Steve on. Dreamlike stuff. Ben's around to the left. Last bit. Get it back on this hill. It's downhill. Downhill now. That's it. I glanced at the distance. 4.78 kilometers on the watch. Last bit for Steve Morgan. But Steve was beginning to drop off the pace. Come on, Steve. The father is chasing. What a run for him. Up and around for the final straight. 110 to go. Having stayed just inside 22 minute pace, I had to ease off a touch to not lose him. And still with beautiful running form, Steve worked to keep moving to that ever nearing finish line. Come on, Steve. You got it. And now on the home straight, Steve began to pour on the pace. Come on, Steve. Let's go, Dad, all the way. Come on, 19 seconds, 15, come on. We're gonna be so close. Seven seconds, come on, Dad. All the way, come on. Come on, Steve. Well done. That was so close. Steve had put in a huge effort and run a superb 22.03. I was very proud. Thank you, Harry. Greeting others, I was delighted to discover that many jog on crew had run personal best that morning. And then there was young George on his 25th park run who put in a world class sprint to finish his run. Boom! Brilliant, well done. Great stuff, well done. His breath now mostly back, I asked for the jog father's thoughts on the experience. Dad, what a superb effort. How did that feel? That was very hard, that one. Just felt I was slightly out of my comfort zone. I felt a bit sick in the last kilometre trying to hang on to you. But yeah, fantastic event. So many supporters, orange colour around. That was terrific. I've never seen such enthusiastic marshals, as you say. How did you feel in those first couple of kilometres? I was suffering, but I was in control. Kind of lost control towards the end of the fourth K, I suppose, and then started to feel a bit sick in the fifth. Lost some time in the last kilometre. At 66 years of age, 
stage, to be running so close to 22 minutes, and let's be honest, very capable with a little bit more training of getting back inside 22. You've got to be pretty happy with that yeah, time. Yeah, I was pleased. I was pleased. Brilliant run. Well done. Brilliant. Thanks for pacing me, Harry. That's good. You spot, right. spot on all the way. Cheering and clapping in more electric orange runners, the cloud with legs came strolling in. With everyone home, I gave an update on Steve's results. We haven't had the official time yet, of course, but we think we were outside by about two seconds. Turned 67 in two days. To be running 22 minutes at that age, I think is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Rob, Jay, both PBs. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 21-12. <laughs> Do you want to come forward, George? Your 25 milestone top. Very well done, sir. I'm at 50 top for you, Emma. It's a tiny top. You guys, thanks so much for coming along. If you don't come in for coffee afterwards and have to dash off, it's been brilliant. Jog on is about community and about running and enjoying your running. And it can be anything you want it to be. It can be running a personal best. It can be trying just to get out there and meet a few people. It's a fantastic social event and running can be a lonely sport, but Jog on is kind of an attempt to get people together around it with a bit of a common purpose to improve our lives through running. So thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Let's take the group photo now and um, yeah, thank you. Woo! Two, one, three!